glad that I can fall. That I can fail. Because without it, I would never know how strong I have to be to succeed. Let me talk about pushing yourself physically or pushing your potential or pushing your body to the limits and how that translates to life. I don't care what your situation is, whether it's personal, financial, physical. Some of these things we can't help. But most of the time, it's your fault. You're the reason you're in bad health. You're the reason why your marriage is struggling. And you're the reason why your family is in the situation that it's in. And you just blame anyone and anything but yourself. And you accept it. You seek the easy way out. Find loopholes. Seek goals that are easily achievable. Your mind will only push you so far, but you have to go beyond that. Your body's physical capabilities can handle way more than you give it. If you short yourself of your potential at any time, then you are weak. How do you expect to be the best that you can be if you practice or train anything short of your best? Excuses become your friends, criticism your enemy. You let busy and can't and tired stand in your way. <laughs> tired. If you got tired of your job or tired of the struggles of your relationship or tired of the difficulties of raising your children, would you give up then? It is no different here. You have to take one more step, take one more rep, hold on for one more minute, one more second, one more time, and hold on for every ounce that you have left. If this is true about you, or you catch yourself making excuses, or catch yourself saying or thinking any of these things, then I suggest you get off your and do something about it. It won't be easy, but who cares? Did God say it was gonna be easy? Did he say to be lazy and he will provide you with anything you need? If you are striving for success or chasing your dreams, you will endure a lot of pain, a lot of failure. You're going to experience a lot of resistance. But you are scared of pain. You are afraid to be uncomfortable. But guess what? Nobody makes it to the top without pain and a little bit of sacrifice. The only one who is weak is the one who doesn't try. The weak worries about what others will say, what others will think. You cannot be convinced by small minds. You will be told that you can't do it. You will be told that you won't survive. You will be told that you will not walk again, that you will not win, that there is no hope for you, yourself, your family, for your job, or that you don't look the part, or maybe that you're too small. One million people can doubt you. But it takes one person to doubt you for it to bring you down. That is yourself. How are you supposed to better yourself, better those around you, better your team, persevere for your family? If you are not living it out every single moment of every single minute of every single day of your life. If your dream is to prevail, then prevail that simple. You are in control of how successful you will be. If you want to play, perform, 
work in front of 20,000 people. You must live, work, and train like you're in front of 100,000 people. Think big and you will exceed what you ever thought possible. Let you shine without a shadow of a doubt.